You wake up one day and realize that the life you're living is far from the one you dreamed of. It's a common story. We get caught up in the hustle of everyday tasks, losing sight of our deeper aspirations at the core of who we are. Yet there's a transformative power in pausing to ask yourself some vital questions. Such introspection can be the key to unlocking a more fulfilling path. Some Socrates the Great. Philosopher once said, The unexamined life isn't worth living as we delve into these powerful questions. Let's explore what they can unveil about our lives and how they might steer us towards a life that truly resonates with our innermost desires and values. 1. Why are we here? This profound question dives into the depths of our very existence on this planet. It's not about the day-to-day -day functions we perform, but about the larger, more significant reason for our presence in this vast universe. It nudges us to think beyond the mundane and consider a greater purpose at its core. This inquiry might suggest that our existence is not just a random occurrence in the cosmos. Instead, it could imply that we are here for reasons beyond our immediate comprehension. One perspective to consider is that we exist to connect with one another to share this journey of life with fellow beings. In this interconnectedness, we find meaning, purpose, and a sense of belonging. It's through our relationships and interactions that we often find the deepest fulfillment. Another angle to explore is the idea that our time on Earth is a test or a preparation for something beyond our current understanding. Many spiritual and religious beliefs hint at this concept where life is seen as a stage of growth and learning, preparing us for a subsequent phase of existence. This view encourages us to live mindfully to make choices that resonate with our higher selves and to seek a path of righteousness and virtue in contemplating why we exist. It's essential to recognize the significance of our actions and their impact on others and the world. The notion that we're here to contribute positively to the world to be forces of good is both empowering and humbling. It suggests that each act of kindness, each effort to make the world a better place, is in alignment with the fundamental purpose of our existence. The idea of existence as a journey towards something greater instills a sense of responsibility and purpose. It encourages us to live with intention, to seek out paths of personal and collective growth, and to cherish the time we have in this view, life is not just a series of random events, but a meaningful narrative rich with opportunities for learning and transformation. So as we ponder the question of why we exist, let's embrace the notion that our lives are intertwined with a larger, perhaps even cosmic purpose, whether it's through forming meaningful connections, contributing to the greater good or preparing ourselves for what lies ahead. The journey of understanding our existence is a profound and enriching experience, one that connects us to the very essence of what it means to be human. Before we continue, a quick shout-out to our Patreon. Check it out for exclusive content, including meditation sessions, inspirational quotes, affirmations, and much more. You'll find the link in the description below. Join our community and get access to special videos and extras, too, to beliefs shape reality. This is a question that delves deep into the essence of our existence, urging us to examine the bedrock of our thoughts, actions, and experiences. Our beliefs, often residing in the subconscious, are the architects of our reality, quietly constructing the world as we experience it. Beliefs transcend mere opinions or conscious thoughts. They are the underlying convictions about life ourselves and the universe that guide our every emotion, decision, and action. This spectrum of beliefs includes but is not limited to religious views. It encompasses our ideals about family work, money, and morality. Every facet of life, often we navigate our days unaware of the powerful influence these beliefs wield over our reality understanding that our beliefs directly create our reality is a profound realization. Every fear, design, or aspiration we have is rooted in our perceptions and interpretations of the worlds which are in turn shaped by our beliefs. This is more than just a philosophical concept. It's a fundamental principle of how we interact with our world. Our brain filters and interprets experiences through the lens of these beliefs essentially coloring our perception of reality. The beauty of this realization lies in its empowering implication. 
If our beliefs shape our reality, then altering these beliefs can transform our lives. This is where the practice of positive thinking and intentional belief formation comes into play by consciously cultivating positive beliefs and attitudes. We can influence our perception of the world, and consequently, our experiences in it, for instance. A belief in one's own capability and worth can lead to a life filled with achievements and satisfactions. While a belief in the inherent goodness of people can create a more trusting and open interaction with the world, on the other hand, limiting beliefs can confine us to a reality that is far less than what we are capable of experiencing. It's important to recognize that changing deeply ingrained beliefs isn't an overnight process. It requires introspection effort and sometimes even unlearning. However, the journey of examining and reshaping our beliefs is one of the most transformative endeavors we can undertake. Let's embrace the empowering truth that our beliefs are not just passive reflections of our experiences. We're active creators of our reality by consciously shaping our beliefs. We hold the power to influence not only our perception of the world, but also the very fabric of our daily lives. In this understanding lies the potential for profound personal growth and a life that truly aligns with our deepest values and aspirations. 3. What would you do if money wasn't an object? This question invites us to step beyond the confines of financial constraints and explore the landscape of our true passions and desires. It's an invitation to imagine a life where choices are not dictated by the necessity of earning, but by the pure joy of doing what fulfills us deeply in a world where our livelihood often dictates our choices. It's easy to forget what truly brings us joy. We get caught up in the cycle of working jobs that drain us solely to support our material needs and desires. But imagine for a moment that money is no longer a factor. How would you choose to spend your days? What activities? pursuits or dreams would you chase? This thought experiment is not just fanciful daydreaming. It's a powerful tool for introspection, helping us to uncover our genuine interest and what makes us truly happy. It newness us to question whether we are currently on a path that aligns with our deepest passions, or if we stray simply to accommodate financial necessities, the illusion of money, or the practical aspect of modern life, often blinds us to the possibilities of living a life that's rich with personal fulfillment and happiness. We're conditioned to believe that a successful life is one filled with material wealth and security. Yet history and personal testimonies are banned with stories of individuals who found their richest experiences not in accumulating wealth, but in pursuing what they love. It's crucial to acknowledge that following one's passion doesn't necessarily mean disregarding financial responsibilities. Instead, it's about finding a balance where we can make a living while not sacrificing our joy and well-being. The saying, it is better to have a short life doing what you love than to have a long life being miserable at what you are doing, encapsulates this sentiment. It reminds us that the quality of our life experience is far more valuable than the quantity of our material possessions. As we contemplate this question, let's consider reshaping our life's narrative from one that's primarily focused on financial gain to one that's rooted in the pursuit of happiness and fulfillment. This shift perspective can be the first step towards a life that's not just Endured, but truly lived one where every day is an expression of our deepest passions and truest selves. 4. What would you do if you weren't scared? Fear and instinctive response embedded deep within us serves a fundamental purpose in our survival. It's a guardian alerting us to potential dangers and guiding us away from harm. However, its protective nature can sometimes become a barrier holding us back from exploring new horizons and pursuing our dreams. Fear often whispers cautionary tales, urging us to tread the path of least resistance to stay within the comfort of the known and the predictable. But how many times has this fear stopped us from embracing opportunities from discovering our full potential? It's crucial to recognize that fear is not a reflection of real reality, but a subjective response that can be calibrated the quote. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear beautifully encapsulates the idea that growth achievement and fulfillment 
often lie just beyond the boundaries of our fears. It suggests that the most rewarding experiences and successes are not found in the safe harbor, but in the uncharted waters that we dare to navigate despite our fears. Our brains are wired for survival, not necessarily for success. This survival instinct can sometimes misinterpret challenges as threats, triggering fear responses, even in situations where they are not warranted. It's our task to train our brains, distinguish between genuine threats and unfounded fears to recalibrate our responses so that they serve our higher aspirations and not just our basic survival needs. Consider how many times fear has held. You back think about the moments you chose safety of a risk familiarity of a novelty. Reflecting on these instances can be enlightening, revealing patterns of avoidance and self-imposed limitations. There's also empowerment in this reflection. Realizing that fear is a conditioned response means that it can be reconditioned. We have the power to train our minds to approach fear not as a stop sign, but as a signpost, indicating areas where growth and learning are possible. Acknowledging that fear is not real in the sense of being an absolute truth, but rather a subjective response, is the first step in transforming our relationship with it. By doing so, we can start to see fear not as an enemy, but as a guide pointing us toward the very experiences that offer the most significant opportunities for personal growth and fulfillment. So as we face the question of what we would do if we weren't scared, let's remember that on the other side of our fears lie the most worthwhile and transformative experiences of our lives. 5. What did I make better today? It's a daily reminder to step beyond our individual needs and to contribute to the world and people around us. By reflecting on this question, we align ourselves with a deeper purpose to be agents of improvement and change. However small or significant those might be, being not best. Most productive cells is not just about achieving personal goals or masters. It extends to how we influence our environment and the lives of others. It's about continuous learning growth and striving to leave the world a little better than we found it. This approach to life transforms our daily actions into opportunities for positive impact. Each day presents countless moments to make a difference. A kind word that lifts someone's spirits a helping hand to ease another's burden, or a creative idea that brings efficiency and joy to a task. These acts of improvement need not be grandiose. Often it's the small gestures that accumulates to create significant change. Continual learning and self-improvements are key. Components of this journey by constantly seeking to enhance our knowledge skills and understanding we not only enrich our own lives, but also increase our capacity to contribute positively to others. Whether it's through formal education reading or engaging in thoughtful conversations, every bit of learning equips us with tools to be more effective in our efforts to make a difference. Moreover, this question encourages us to think about sustainability and long-term impact. It's about creating positive ripples that extend beyond the immediate and the visible. Whether it's through environmental stewardship, community service, or mentoring others, the goal is to instigate changes that endure and inspire. In asking ourselves what or whom did I make better? Today, we're not just reflecting on our actions. We're cultivating a mindset of purposeful living. It's a commitment to being more than just consumers of what the world offers. It's about being contributors who actively shape and improve our surroundings. This mindset, when adopted collectively, has the power to create a more compassionate, productive, and sustainable world. It starts with each of us every day in every small but significant way we can contribute. 6. What am I most grateful for in my life right now? This simple yet profound question has the power to transform our perspective, fostering a deep sense of gratitude. When we pause to consider what we're thankful for, it shifts our focus from what's lacking to the abundance that's already present in our lives. Gratitude isn't just a fleeting feeling. It's a powerful state of being that can significantly alter how we view our world. When we regularly acknowledge and appreciate the good in our lives, our general outlook becomes more positive. This shift in perspective can affect everything from our mental health to our interactions with others. Being grateful 
helps in reducing negative emotions like envy and resentment and fosters a greater sense of happiness. Moreover, gratitude can create a beautiful cycle of positivity. When we express our appreciation for what we have, whether it's good health, loving relationships, or even small daily comforts, we not only feel better ourselves, but we also spread that positivity to others. This act of acknowledging our blessings can be contagious, inspiring a similar sense of thankfulness in those around us. In practicing gratitude, we also tend to become more empathetic and less aggressive, leading to healthier and more nurturing relationships. Grateful people are often more patient, understanding, and open, which can profoundly impact their personal and professional relationships towards the end of this reflection. It's fascinating to realize that this question might be the one with the most answers in this entire video. Each of us has unique aspects of our life that we're grateful for, and the variety of these blessings is as diverse as we are as individuals now, as we come to an ending. I invite you, my dear friends, to share in the comments something you're grateful for. Let's create a space of shared appreciation and positivity by reading others. Expressions of gratitude, we might find new reasons to be thankful in our own lives. Remember, gratitude not only changes us, it changes the world around us. Let's embrace this transformative power and see the abundance that life has to offer. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. For more interested in extra content and special packs, have a look at our Patreon or membership program.